Great folks, this is the Black Weasel, and this is my video game review of Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance for the PlayStation 4. This game is part of the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Here it is. Which I got so I can play all these games before Kingdom Hearts 3 finally releases in January 2019. Dream Drop Distance takes after the events of Kingdom Hearts 2. The gist of it is that Zeno Horde is returning and he is a supremely strong person. Sora and Riku are no match for him right now, but they have an opportunity to become powerful enough to take him on. The gameplay, the gameplay is the usual hack and slash beat em up magical role playing game. What's added on are these creatures called Dream Eaters that serve as helpers for Sora and Riku. Some of them can heal Sora and Riku without them using their own magic points, or they can help attack the enemies when some parts of them are over overwhelming. And then there's a certain mechanic of the game where, like, if they uh, fight for a little bit too long, they'll become real tired and fall asleep. And then the game will sw switch over towards either a Sora and Riku just so they can continue on their own adventures. I find that to be unique, but later on where I need to do so, really need to get something done as Sora or Riku, I just don't like when it just switches over just like that. The premise of Sora and Riku to become strong is clear. But what isn't is the direction of the game. I knew I had to I had to play this before Kingdom Hearts 3, but to some extent it became a chore halfway through. I'll give uh, Dream Drop Distance an 8.5 out of 10. New uh, gameplay, new gameplay options have been added, so so this game doesn't become repetitive. Oh wow! But this turns into a slipping adventure because I have to do this in order to play Kingdom Hearts 3. And the game I came already came out at the time, and so the, I, I was really um, late on to finish these games. So I have played this on February 2nd. 2019 and I finished it on February 7th, 2019. It has taken me over 28, 28 hours to finish this game.